That's right. Time Warner Cable responsible for 98% of the damages in this deadly explosion. Now, Jimmy France, one of the owners of JJ's and really the face of the restaurant, not in court today. He actually just had a liver transplant, but I reached out and spoke with him on the phone just a short time ago. He told me he is glad that this is done, and he's also satisfied that a company, a major company like Time Warner Cable, was found at fault in this deadly explosion. This is where JJ's used to stand before it was completely leveled. And look up, you can still see remnants of the destruction of that deadly fire with the soot up on those bricks. Now, in court today, the jury saying that Time Warner Cable responsible to pay $5.9 million in damages. Now, about half of that is for JJ's restaurant, and the other half is for the building itself. However, UCIC, which is the location company that actually marks the ground on where to dig, was not found at fault in any way, and that is something that surprised the attorneys for JJ. Our theory of the case was that there were three utility lines uh, that should have been marked, and they only marked two. But you know, jury heard the evidence and disagreed with that, and, and so be it. We respect their verdict. Now, I want to show you what he's talking about with those markings. Right here would be a good example. This shows the markings of the utilities underneath this sidewalk. So, UCIC, a company that does that, not found at fault in any way for this explosion. And back here where JJ's used to sit, Jimmy France had told me at times that his restaurant he felt was really priceless. He'd been collecting memorabilia throughout the years. Now, if that payment and payout comes through, which would be after a very very lengthy appeals process. That money would go towards recouping on some of the investment for the latest JJ's restaurant, which has been built right across the street. Reporting live at the plaza, Scott McDonald, KBC 9 News.